Hello, Scorpio couples. I am Phoenix Rising. If you're hearing my voice, you're watching my channel. If this is your first time watching, you can click like, subscribe, or share. Um, and if you're a returning Scorpio, thanks for coming back. I'm here to do couples for uh, Scorpio for your love reading for the remainder of May and half of June. And I've already did a pre-shuffle. Um, and these are your six main cards um, for, for your shuffle. And here's your last answer. This is like what I asked Spirit to give you answers to. So this is your answer card. And then these are your soulmate card. Um, like past, present, future kind of thing. Three cards. And then you get to ask the deck a question at the beginning. Nothing too serious though. And I'll flip it at the end. This is a question card. Or an answer to your question. So I'll do that at the end. Okay? So Scorpios, I got a couple messages. I'm just going to get started and dive right in. At the head of your read, you got the Knight of Pentacles is in reverse. For some of you guys, um, you're dull dogmatic, careless, bored. Um, this is basically a stay at home. One one partner stays at home and the other partner might actually make the money and might actually be really cheap with the money, like tight. This is like tight lip with money, cheapskate. Um, this is also boring sex life. This is um, a partner that can't ac access cash and that's an issue. Because the other partner has more control of the money. But this is for some of you just bored and uh, need some excitement in your life. And you don't have any right now. This is like blah. Um, and this is some of you need a whole new partner. Um, this card also represents Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus. Um, when this card appears, an Earth sign. And with that air sign, you got the sun and it's upright. For some of you, the issue about being bored, um, you will ch achieve success as far as like a conversation with things to get better. This is contentment um, and it's like a ray of hope for somebody. Like things getting better. Um, things turn out well for some of you. It's like taking control or um, this is you just being happy. This is also for some of you being happy with someone else. This is um, also like hidden secrets. Like what happens in the dark comes to the light. Kind of like the sun revealing things. Um, it like, yeah, things come to light. So this is also a new baby for someone. Um, there could be a baby on the way by this person that is being tight-lipped. Or you could be a Scorpio with a baby on the way. Or you could be a Scorpio pregnant. But this is definitely a baby on the way. And this is also um, secrets. Someone doesn't know maybe. There might be a baby on the way. And someone doesn't know about the baby. That is on the way. Or you yourself could just be pregnant in a relationship. And you could be bored. You got the four of cups with that. In reverse, this is like um, new ambition, needing something new. It's like, but don't strain. This is something fun. Um, it's about to happen after you've been bored for a certain period of time. This is like um, action after no action. You know, like something about to get to popping. Um, this is also mama's boy for some of you. This is a pity party. Your partner could be throwing a pity party. You could be throwing a pity party. However it resonates, this is um, stuck at a certain place. And you can get out of that place, but you act like you can't. Or your partner could be doing that. Like, woe is me. It's your choice to say this is like feeling sorry for yourself. Or your partner feeling sorry for themselves. This is self-pity. Uh, while I went sorrow, this is the victim card. Like I said, woe is me. But for some of you, it's like you're looking forward to not being bored again. Like, uh, some action about to happen. Mm -mm. You got the Ace of Cups um, with that. And this basically means uh, new beginnings. 
uh, experiences. This is something experiencing something new, a new beginning, emotional love. Like someone's excited about being pregnant. Um, this is like good times. This is like this is a good time to have a long term relationship. This is exploring your feelings and putting yourself first. Putting your feelings first, or your partner putting his feelings first, good, which may not be good, but in your case it is. That's why I say it's a curse. It's like finally taking control, like, okay. And then, like I said, it's a whole new beginning for someone. Also with the sun, it's double confirmation of a new beginning. You got the lover's card in reverse. This is infidelity, separation. Um, This is... You like you pay for foolish mistakes, plan for foolish decisions. You've done something foolish. So someone could have got somebody pregnant by accident. And it's going to be an issue. This is um, a relationship coming to an end. This is a shallow love affair. This is having a lot of sex partners, like being promiscuous. Your partner could be. This is only wanting sex. And this is having sex partners, like I said, everywhere. <clears throat> This is needing for some of you that your partner's not cheating. You're needing to make a decision and you're not making it. Not seeing things clearly. And this for some of you, you don't support your partner's decision. That's why the love is card is in reverse. You don't, you like, uh uh, I'm not going along with this shit. This is also um, somebody that's like a tranny in the closet or something, like a secret or something. Like maybe. Uh, they having problems with their sexuality and not being honest about it. I'm picking up that too, like hidden, uh, hidden secrets with sexualities with the love of heart in reverse. But it's definitely um, infidelity for some of you. And then it just means for some of you, you're so bored, your love life is upside down. Maybe because you're praying nothing's going on and maybe you just like feeling some type of way. Um, or maybe some of you have a Leo pregnant. Or you're dealing with a Leo. But this is um, the strength card. And it does represent the sign Leo. Doesn't have to be for all. Just for some. This is like. Um, steadfast. Like to be steadfast. Triumph. This is don't attack. Don't, do not attack or get offended. That when this card shows up. Just have inner strength to overcome. Don't get offended. Don't get upset. This does mean love though as well. Um, strength to overcome everything. This is inner guidance. It's like you have it in you to be strong. This is also having faith and relying on your faith when strength comes with this situation. But definitely the Leo card. Things to be upside down with your Leo lover or Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Or Pisces as well. I'm picking up Pisces energy too. With these cups with emotions. And for your last card, um, for your read. You got the Ace of Wands. This is a new venture, new beginnings. This is like good luck, good fortune. This is getting um, getting ready to start a family. It could be with a fire sign as well. This is a Sagittarius. Leo, like I said, a, a double confirmation for Leo. You got two. So some of you, it's a lot of Leos that you're dealing with. And then um, Aries. This could be Aries. You could be having a baby with an Aries. But this is starting a family, new venture. Um, with the fire sign, it doesn't have to be fire sign. It just means it's getting started fast. Um, things are moving fast. This is also thinking about uh, having a family. But for most of you, um, someone's definitely having a baby. Double confirmation. There's a baby coming somewhere. Um, okay, and for your answer to your card. Let's see what we got. The answer is yes. I don't know what you asked. But Spirit said your answer is yes. Let's see this right here. Like right there so you can see it. Alright, let's go to the soulmate part. Um, this is like about the past or even dealing with some of the present situation. This is uh let go of control issues. Allow situations to unfold naturally. Uh -oh. Stop trying to control things. Allowing the situation to un unfold naturally is like um, 
The angels heard your prayers. Source God heard your prayers. Let them handle it. Let go of the control. You can't control people. That only will cause you to get frustrated. This is not the time to take uh, like uh, chances. Just pray and you'll get the answer. It may not be what you want, but you will get the answer. Um, it might be a different answer for what you have in mind. Like I said, be open to all possibilities and trust God. This is control issues are based off of fears that others won't live up to your expectations. Including God for someone. And that's not good. Okay, so you gotta let go of control. Letting go of control. Because whatever somebody gonna do is free will. You can't stop them. And this speaks about the present situation. This is the chemistry card. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Now, this is two different ways. For some of you, um, it's you. It's like you or your partner feel more drawn or connected to somebody else. Um, it's like you have better chemistry with somebody else. And when you're with this person, the chemistry comes from um, you escaping the problems and feeling free. Um, or that, that's how your partner feels when they're with this person cheating. Or this is the person that does that for you, basically, if you're cheating. It's like, um, it's like less stress when you're with this person. You don't have to worry about nothing. And that's why I said the lover's card is here in reverse. Because it's like you don't have to worry about nothing when you're with this person. When you're with your partner or when they with you, they feel like things are turmoil. Are like crazy. And you have a lot of chemistry with this person, like I said. So that's like you have a bond. You guys can talk about anything. Or your partner feels that way about this person. Like it's deeper than what you think. Like they vent to this person a whole lot. Um, this also is um, you. your partner might be weighing their options or whether they're staying or going or you weighing your options. Um, it's just warning you consequences. Be careful. Before you leave it, before you, before you or your partner leave a current situation, someone wants to leave for the love affair because the partner might be pregnant or you got somebody pregnant. But for some of you, you're so bored, it's just lack of chemistry. Um, some of you can just be pregnant by your partner and it's just lack of chemistry because you're bored. It's causing the relationship issues. It's like um, start fresh. That's why you got the wands. Start by starting fresh. <clears throat> Yeah, so it's like start fresh with passion and playfulness to devote time and efforts to restore the sparks and pray for guidance from the angels. So if you want the lover's card to be flipped back up for some of you, it just is a matter of you getting the chemistry back and speaking your mind and having honest conversations. And you could be moody if you're pregnant. But for some of you, the infidelity comes from chemistry, better chemistry with somebody else. They feel like they have a better bond with this person. I hate to say that, but that's what it is. Your last card you got worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Yeah, at work in your love life. I'm sorry. The angels. The angel card. Um, for some of you, this was a soulmate. And you get more than one soulmate. But this is the soulmate card. It's like uh, the soulmate relationship requires patience. Some stuff is worth waiting for. The answer of what's going on is worth waiting for, too, to see what's about to happen. It's about divine timing with the universe, um, like universal law, divine timing. This is free will, allowing your partner. Don't, don't force it. Free will. You only going to frustrate yourself. This is because um, you're like, you'll be out of single nature if you force it. And the same thing for your partner. This is listening to your gut and intuition. Even if you don't like what it's saying, listen, follow it. The answer may not be what you want, but you need to hear it. Okay? And for some of you that are pregnant by your partner, you might be asking, is the person worth the weight of um, trying to fix it? And the angels say yes if it's no infidelity. It's a different situation if it's infidelity. So yes, it's worth waiting for and fixing if it's no infidelity. But for someone, there's a baby on the way and you don't know anything about it. I just caught the camera at uh, 1444, which is definitely confirmation. So I just wanted to tell you guys that. 
So uh, for other Scorpio couples, you guys are just having a baby and hitting a, rock, a rocky spot because, you know, pregnancy can be stressful. So, but for some of you, things are coming to the light very soon. So, all right, I'm Phoenix Rising. Click like, subscribe, come back and see me, share. You guys have a beautiful day. Thank you, Scorpios. Bye.